Hi guys, my name is Dr. Vince Hassel from Hassel Family Chiropractic. We're located in Des Moines, Iowa. So you probably know by now that a, any artificial aspartame type sweetener is a sugar substitute should really be out of the question. But what about high fructose corn syrup? The answer is that high fructose corn syrup is such a poor choice that you'd be better off just eating sugar. High fructose corn syrup is a sweet deal for food processors and soda companies because it's cheaper than sugar and even sweeter. It's been easy to convince an unsuspecting consumer public that high fructose corn syrup is healthier than sugar, even if it comes from genetically modified corn. But health hazards from GMO corn aren't the only issues. Sugar is sugar. So what's the difference? Well, virtually all living organisms like to use glucose for energy. Glucose is derived from carbohydrate foods or directly from sugar, which is sucrose. Our metabolisms are used to it, though obviously it can be overdone with added sucrose. Fructose in, in fruits and vegetables comes as part of a digestible whole food package that contains much, much less isolated or standalone fructose than things like soft drinks and other processed foods. The digestive system is not familiar with high amounts of standalone fructose. Dr. Andrew Weil states, the body doesn't handle large amounts of standalone fructose well. You can maintain life with intravenous glucose, but not with intravenous fructose. Severe derangement of the liver function results. There's also evidence of a high intake of fructose elevates levels of circulating fats, which is serum triglycerides, increasing the risk of heart disease. With glucose from beet or cane sugar, 20% is passed on to the liver and metabolized. But the gut doesn't know what to do with isolated high fructose. So it passes 100% of isolated fructose into the liver. Consequently, the liver metabolizes the high fructose content into mostly fats and triglycerides. High amounts of high fructose corn syrups are known to create non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which can morph into then cirrhosis. High fructose corn syrup creates even more metabolic damage because it has no effect on ghrelin, the hormone that stimulates appetite from the brain. It interferes with the brain's Lipton communication. Lipton is the hormone that lets you know you've had enough to eat and tells you that it's time to stop because you're satisfied. This deregulation of the body's communication now leads to overeating and ultimately to disease. Glucose suppresses ghrelin and doesn't interfere with Lipton. So hunger cravings are satisfied quickly with glucose from even regular refined table sugar. Insulin resistance is another outgrowth of high fructose corn syrup metabolic damage. Metabolic disorders from high fructose corn syrup have been shown to induce type 2 diabetes and obesity. Two manifestations of bad health that have increased dramatically since 1975 when high fructose corn syrup, corn syrup was introduced. Ironically, these epidemics, along with rising heart disease, have occurred despite successful campaigns for increased exercise, decreased fat intakes over the last three decades in the multi-billion dollar uh, uh, health and weight loss industry with the, all your infomercials on TV and everything, is if high fructose corn syrup is not enough, <clears throat> the food and beverage industry has recently upped one up high fructose corn syrup with crystalline fructose. It is further refined than high fructose corn syrup and more potent than high fructose corn syrup, which is 45% sucrose and 55% fructose. Crystalline fructose is 100% fructose, making it even more difficult to me metabolize in your body and making it even more toxic with traces of chloride, lead, and arsenic because of the way that it's uh, processed. Crystalline fructose is being used in sports drinks. We talked about vitamin water a couple weeks ago, flavored waters, even special health supporting beverages. Vitamin water seems to be the most popular. That's why I talk about that the most. And there are other containing crystalline fructose, uh, Fuse, Mystic, Sobe, Snapple. Basically, we need to avoid all corporate packaged foods and beverages. 
We need to drink pure water to hydrate during the day and rehydrate after exercise. Use stevia as a sweetener if you want to use something. Or moderate amounts of raw honey or organic raw cane sugar. Make your own juices with a juicer. If you must buy packaged juice, make sure that it's 100% fruit and vegetable juice. Even though it is processed though, like V8 and V8 Splash and juices like this, it's processed so it denaturizes the enzyme so it really has no health benefit to you whatsoever. If you want to live stronger and you want to live longer, we have to make good choices in the nutrition that we choose to eat. What are you choosing? I'm Dr. Vince Hassel with Hassel Family Chiropractic in Des Moines, Iowa. Stay healthy. I'll talk to you again soon.